lot of kids don't point themselves out in the beginning of the play, so it makes it tough to follow. Always circle yourself, always point yourself out. And like he said, put your best plays first, and that's going to keep every coach watching. Like, first and foremost, with the highlight films, I know one of the other coaches touched on that. You know, your first five plays better be the best five plays you have over your career, because you're trying to hold our attention. You guys are sales, are in sales, you're trying to sell us on yourself, on your ability. So if you're first, I, I watched a film the other day, it was a goal line stand of some linebacker making four plays. And it's like, you know what, like I, I, I don't even see him out there, I don't see it. We all have 800 films to watch a day. So your top five plays better be highlighted. Make sure yourself, yourself is highlighted before the play. Don't put, this is a personal preference, don't put all the powered up stuff and all that stuff on there. Just put the, as quick as possible, spot shot at yourself. Put the arrow, do something fast. We don't need to see all that, it's awesome. Make another highlight film for your boys to put up on YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, whatever it is. Um, but just make sure, you gotta hold our attention right from the start. If you really want a football scholarship, you need to avoid some of the critical mistakes during your recruiting process. You may be wondering, why am I not getting recruited? There are certain tools that you need to improve your chances of earning an athletic scholarship. My father helped my brother and I get Division I scholarships to a number of Power 5 schools. And since then, he's helped over 100 high school athletes obtain full scholarships through his foundation, Educating Athletes. So click below and get your guide on how to earn a football scholarship.